last summer, the Supreme Court ordered our congressional map be redrawn to provide a second black majority district. And candidates came out of the woodwork to try to secure that nomination to potentially flip this formerly safe Republican district. For the Republicans, it looks like State Senator Dick Brubaker leads that pack, but it has not been called just yet. And for the Democrats, House Minority Leader Anthony Daniels and Shamari Figures also moving forward in a runoff. One of the candidates, State Representative Wandeling Gavan, came up short in the Democratic race. WVTM 13's Lisa Crane caught up with her at uh, her watch party this evening in Montgomery. What did she have to say, Lisa? Well, guys, we talked to her just a couple of minutes ago, and she hadn't decided at this point whether she was going to get behind Daniels or figures in a runoff election. She said she was disappointed that more women voters didn't turn out to support the women on the Democratic ticket during this primary. Now, when she arrived here hours ago, her supporters were here to cheer her on. She said she ran because she believes in democracy and she didn't want to miss out on this opportunity. But she was very disappointed in the voter turnout today. She called it scary. She says no matter who wins, they have to break the code on how to motivate motivate voters to show up. Try to galvanize the Democratic Party. I mean, no one, whoever wins, is going to have to do that. You're going to have to galvanize a base. That means working with those who did not win, uh, trying to figure out what that looks like. But we've got to figure out how to get people. The Democratic Party is going to have to figure out how to get the people to the polls in November. Now, Gavan says this new congressional district is an opportunity. Whether that is an opportunity for the Republicans or the Democrats remains to be seen. Now, WVTM 13's Magdala Lusant is not too far from here at a, another Democratic candidate's headquarters. Magdala? Yes, Lisa, we're about 15 minutes away from you at a church in Montgomery where Marika Coleman was holding her watch party here. Now, everyone has gone home, but Marika Coleman didn't want to call it a night because she wanted all of the numbers to come in. She is proud of the uh, campaign she says she ran. Now, Marika Coleman, we know she's been in Montgomery all day today at polling places, thanking her supporters. And those people showed up tonight embracing her at this watch party while they waited for the results to come in. Now, Coleman, it was one of the top candidates voters wanted to see represent Alabama in the House in Washington, D.C. And as we've been telling you all year long up until today, District 2 was newly created after the Supreme Court approved a three jury panels new version of Alabama's congressional map. This was only done because legislatures were not drawing a map that fairly represented the black vote in the state. Well, Marika Coleman tells me today they've been hearing that people were not notified. They had new polling locations and some didn't know their district had changed. In addition to, we're hearing that, you know, nearly 5,000 ballots um, did not have the correct district on it. Now, that is a travesty. Um, that means 5,000 people within the district um, here in, in Montgomery were disenfranchised if they did not have the opportunity to vote for the candidate of their choice. This entire court case was about African Americans having the opportunity to choose the candidate of their choice. And if nearly 5,000 ballots were misprinted, then we have an issue. I did call Montgomery County's election center to get this information confirmed, and I was told someone would be calling me back. And at this time, I have not heard from them. Uh, Marika tells me that she spoke with someone who is very close to this redistricting lawsuit, uh, who is out in Mobile, and they tell her that this is not over, and they are planning or planning the process, the court process, right now. And she still wants to see a second uh, congressional district for African Americans in. Alabama. We're live in Montgomery. I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.